Welcome back guys, Apex Predator here. So guess what, another day, another couple of superb weekly race C at Maggio for you. So straight into the action here, we're starting 7th. We've got this TT around the outside, everyone's parked on the Apex on turn 2. The TT's just hitting everybody. <laughs> Very, very busy first couple laps in this race. Just you wait till you see the back straight. It's crazy how busy it looks in the replay. Got the Britain and Yellow Megan look on the outside. Zavisic makes a dive for the inside when he sees us coming. We've got this Spaniard in the TT going mental on the outside. Look, there's three wide, the hurricane, the Britain Hurricane wants to stick his nose up the inside even though there's two of us there. That would never have gone down well. Side by side through here, crazy stuff. This is mental. Try to just have a chilled first lap, guys. What are you doing? <laughs> what is this? Look! I'm just like, look, come on, please, can we just... Me and you, let's just get away. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Look me inside. Chill out, guys. <laughs> Jeez. Right. Whew. Cram a bit of fuel saving in. That'll be lap, that'll be lap two, anyway. Well, we've got the hurricane behind, though, so. Can't afford to fuel and save too hard, otherwise he's definitely well, he's probably going to get past anyways, brothers. Need that slipstream though, really, to make the most of the of the fuel saving. Just as we start to lap two, skip a bit further ahead. So you can see the hurricane is going to be very strong through here. Gaining, gaining, gaining in that mirror. I know he's there, I know he's coming through for the inside here. I'm not going to fight it too hard. He leaves me room. And we took him behind. Here we go, a bit further on. Still only lap three. Still early days. Still wanting to do a bit of fuel saving, but need that slipstream really. Plus, it's just too busy. <laughs> so the Hurricane's going for a move on the uh, on the Megan in front. Didn't quite get it done. So he's going to be looking to. Oh, there's a <laughs> bit of contact. He should really get it done here. Much faster car. Yep. So he's through into 6th, we're still 8th. I'll grab that 6th gear though because we're, we're catching as they're holding each other up. But at least we've broken away a little bit from the main pack of chaos, although... As soon as that hurricane got past, he seems to be really slow now, so look... I both catching. Hurricane's off the track, spears into the Megan a bit, but Megan has a slide because of it. I've got nowhere to go. So now those two cars are right behind us now. And they weren't as uh, as clean to race. As everyone else I've encountered so far this week. Yeah, 
know, I, I don't really want to race here. I like it, I enjoy it, but I'm just trying to do, I'm just trying to do my low stuff. I'm just trying to have my chilled out little, you know, just race my fuel tank really. I'm not trying to get involved in anything. I will, you know, if you bring it, I'll get involved, but I don't want to. I'm just trying to chill. Send for the back straight again. Lap four, midway through the race. Just over a tank of fuel, not as much as I'd usually like to have, but we've been involved in a lot of stuff. The Porsche comes for a late move, there's contact. Still side by side. And look, he just hits me off the track here. Doesn't quite leave enough room. So, you know. And then yeah, the next corner, this guy just finishes it off. So we have one, you know, one one fair uh, side by side bit of action with a Brit a couple of laps back. But then, you know, another Brit a few laps later, we can't produce the same side by side racing. It's a shame, and I've you know I've gone side by side with loads of Spaniards through here this week, haven't I? So look at that. There's no need for that. You know I'm there. Just don't be a dickhead. Leave some room. What are you doing? And then just pushes me off. Classic. Anyway, not to worry. Another one. As DJ Khaled says, there's plenty more to come. You can say what you want about Group 4, it does produce some good racing. I think we've proven that this week. It seems every day I've hopped on, the races have just got better and better. Racking up the points as well. Okay, so starting this one in 8th. So we're dropping, I'm, I've not improved that lap, so it's still what I had yesterday, the 204. So we're dropping further and further down the grid. And the formula for these races is fuel safe pretty hard for the first four or five laps and then that will give you the fuel that you need to push um, for the latter half of the race. That's the, that's the way to do the no stop strategy. So seems to do quite well at that corner, seems to pick up a few places there. So we get past the French driver there, it's up into seventh now as we uh, just skip the first lap. Because like I say, we're just fuel saving really here. Some good slipstream up the hill and through the S's. And when I start to get a bit too close, I will be just flicking it into a different fuel map. And Brick gets a slide on through there, so we're up into six, so we don't have the slipstream, so we'll definitely be in map one now. And I might even, um, yeah, rev it out a little bit more in fifth just as we get to the brow of the hill, just because I really want to catch that pack back up now. It's worth using a bit of fuel if it means that you can catch up with a car, so then you can, you know, use the slipstream to fuel save. So don't, don't be afraid to, to, to not, you know, to, to, to push it early on if you need to. It's not a rigid strategy, it needs to be flexible. Here we go. So fifth now. And we've picked up her, uh, picked up some tow. Anywhere downhill is ideal to short shift. Might just be in fuel mix two or three now. Then you just sort of lower it or raise it if you start to. Uh, lose or gain on the car in front, basically.
So I'm quite happy just to sit behind for a couple of laps, just get my fuel saving in. Make sure I've got more than I need so that I can push if I need to. The latter half, because I know that the Spaniard in front, that's what he's doing, so... You know, if I rush past him and try and crack on, I might not have the fuel that I need later on. Whereas, you know, he's already had some good fuel saving already off of the guy in P2, so I can't afford not to just stick behind him for a lap or two, at least, just to get some fuel saving in. And then we can bring the race to him in a lap or so. Probably towards the end of this lap, I'd say. Yeah, well, yeah, start, start, start getting a bit quicker towards the end of the lap. Maybe, maybe towards the end of lap six is when we'll really start to go for it. Being fuel mix too, I think that looks a bit at the moment. flipped it back to one to grab the toe again and then just put it back to two once you're wrapping the toe. Plus running a leaner mixture is quite good for these first couple of corners. Just helps control any wheel spin you might have otherwise. Just makes getting out of here a little bit easier. And then same with turn four. So what I tend to do is all through here it would be I'd have it in mix two because I need you need to lift through that corner anyway if you're in mix one. Still in mix two as it helps here and just here I flick to one so just on the exit which was the wheel straighten up because you want you want to get the max power down here. I mean I'd leave it in one for the whole rest of the lap really apart from the straight obviously unless I was catching someone up into these twisties. I'm, But otherwise, I'd be leaving it in one. This is quite nice to have the power. It's uphill, it leads onto the straight, so you don't want to be from saving too much through these corners, just to just be doing it if you're in someone's toe. Alright, so we've had a good couple of laps fuel saving. It's time to start pushing it. We'll have more than we need. So, fuel mix one. formation. Trying around the outside. Should stick. Now the guy in P1 turned out to be pretty difficult to get past, quite defensive, so I assume the Spaniard already had a little go, it didn't, it didn't turn out too well for him and we ended up managing to get the move done. I think the same thing is going to happen to uh, 
to me when I give it a go. So we're going to try and overtake and uh, defend so hard that we, just, you know, you lose momentum and then you lose the ground to the guy behind you again. So we've really got to pick the spot. He's backed off a bit though, just to give me a bit of room, just to work something. So look, defends the inside. Okay, so when I come to the outside... Yeah, that's fine. So I go for the cutback. But the Spaniard in P3 is going to get a good opportunity to get me back here, isn't he? He's got the slipstream. Can't quite make it around uh, the outside, which would have become the inside of P1 there, so took back in for P2. Him a little bump there, he was pretty slow on the apex. I think we got some negative SR for that, but what are you going to do? Luckily, no penalty though. I love that shot. Here we go, and on to the last lap. Pretty good race, uh, pretty good battle for the lead here. I think any one of these three cars could win this race. So, Spaniards down the inside. No point defending it too much, I don't want to lose too much ground. And I'm quite happy for him to try and get past this guy and see if I can maybe pick them both off in, in the process. Because we know he's going to be very de defensive, the guy in P1. So I could, I could capitalise on that. Not been on board for a while. A little slide coming out of there, otherwise quite nice on entrance. Crept up to the back, but. We lost it again, just after just losing that little bit of traction. See how much ground you lose. We wide through there. I think it was. I'm not sure if it was um, losing a bit of, of aero because I was running so close, or whether it was just losing the visibility. And I was just looking. I was just trying to see where the corner was. P1's on the inside. I want to go down the inside, but he kind of defends it. I suppose he's always going to. So I'm trying to stick to the middle here. Try and get a good exit out of here. I want to get around the outside of this Spaniard. Doesn't quite look on though. It gives us a little nudge so I just back out of it. Try and yeah. So I think he gives the uh, I think he gives P1 a little nudge off the Spaniard. And then we just sort of follow him through. Is he wide there? Just still able to shut the door. I'm not sure we're going to do it, guys. Piling into the last corner. That's going to be P2, but a good race. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Another one. So let's do another. Starting sixth this time. The uh, Frenchman from the last race. I think we got, pa got, got past him in that corner. Now this race is, is going to be play out pretty similarly. So same same sort of strategy. Just fuel safe pretty hard the first. Um, for the first few laps, although use the fuel if you need to, you know, to catch up with the pack or break away from someone pressuring. I say lap one, you don't really need to worry too much about fuel saving. Uh, but then obviously, you know, laps two to sort of five and six, you can fuel save and then push for the last few laps, and that's where the racing happens. As the TC drivers they sort of take each other out a little bit there, a little bit of clumsy contact gives me a uh, promotes me to P5 really. I didn't do anything to get that position, just capitalise on them. Um, on some clumsiness really between two teammates there, so we'll take that, fifth place.
bunching up a bit here. Yeah, Frenchman behind's catching, and I wondered if, um, because they are teammates, and it did look like the guy I'm now racing in front sort of accidentally, you know, hit this guy. I was, I wondered if he was trying to just sort of back me up and let this guy catch back up. It did sort of feel like that. It seemed, to, it seemed like he was going very slowly. So defended from the first Frenchman, and just send it into T1 on the second French and I'm telling you, it's a good, that's probably my favourite spot to overtake on this track, that corner right there. Most people don't pull it up enough and then also it's quite hard to get on, on the power so that, that um, compounds the, the mistake, so the first mistake being that you've not braked hard enough, so that's what I mean when I say you've not pulled it up, you've not made the apex of that turn two and that means that you've got a lot of lock on and you need to be on the throttle and you just, you know, you can't really do that in this game. So if you are able to pull it up and make the apex, you can get the rotation early and then just sort of get on the power and drive out of the corner. You know, you can make up a lot of a lot of time there in quali and in the race. You can get some, if you catch people napping, you can just nip past them there. So only fourth now in the tow. So this is the fuel saving phase of the race. Obviously I could push and get past this guy, I could probably get past P2 as well, but I don't think that's faster in the long run. Better to, um, to just chill for a bit, you know, just uh, do that fuel saving, let the car just sip on that petrol, let it be gulping it. You know, save room for uh, save room for some racing later on. So again, I'll be messing with the uh, with the mix, running a bit leaner when I can. And you know, if if I'm getting too far away, I run it a bit richer. And then as I start to you know get closer, I'll lean it off again. So I'll be in mix two now. I like to run mix two around here because, like I say, even 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 in the, if, you, if you're trying to go flat out and really nail a lap, you still have to have a little lift through that corner just to get the car rotated and stuff. So since you're having to lift anyway, you may as well just uh, use less fuel initially. And then you don't actually have to lift because you're going slower because you've used less fuel. So it's a, it's a more efficient way of doing that corner. Probably about to mix one again. Let's try and get that toe. Might put it in two or three here. Probably not three. Might be two just because of the uh, because I'm catching a bit. But, um, but then when I short shift, I might flick it back to one just so I don't drop too far back. And then again, as you start to gain, you just you know, lean it out again. I know it's pretty boring, but it's a big part of the racing. As it is in, in modern motorsport, to be honest with you, as uh, as hybrids become more and more of a thing, the, the fuel saving will continue to be more and more of a thing. Although maybe not in the future, fuel won't be a thing at all, probably whether or not you've got the battery that can charge quickest and deploy fastest and so there's always going to be when I say fuel saving I don't I know fuel as we know it now won't be around but you'll still have to conserve your energy you know however it's being uh, harvested you know what I'm saying <laughs> you don't need to go down this path back to the racing third third position now Halfway through the race, more than half a tank of fuel, but that's good. Remember, because we want to be pushing more in the uh, in the latter half. So, looking good here, really.
probably still do another lap or two of fuel saving, and then we can start to push. P2 is just upping their pace a bit. We're trying to. Alright, we're sending down the inside. We can fuel safe behind P1 if we need to. Don't want to risk getting held up by that guy. And P1 pulling away. So while we're close, while we caught up, I think it was the right move to get past. I think P1's going to try and pull, break the toe a little bit here, so... We need to get our head down a little bit. I think we're catching him. I wonder if he's just having to fuel save a bit more than, than we are. He was in the lead, remember, so he wasn't able to fuel save. 
Yeah, as much as we've been able to, I don't think. He's not been with the whole race, I don't think, but... Still. So I think that's why we've caught him here. We've just been able to run it a bit richer for longer. So I've got two choices here. I could, just, I could go I could fuel save behind him and not give him the chance to fuel save off me. That's probably the better thing to do, but... It's a bit lame. I think we've got two laps to go. Probably do with another lap behind him, but I think I'm just going to want to go. Yeah, plus he's, uh, he's obviously fuel saving quite hard because we got past him quite easily there. So I think he, I think he wants to have a lap behind us and then he push hard for a lap, for his final lap, lap eight. But I've got, I've got enough fuel. I don't need to, uh, don't need to fuel save anymore. So this isn't, this isn't an issue. It will help him out though. Been some pretty good McGann on McGann action, I'd say, this, uh, these last few days. It do lead to good racing, because you've got all that grip. You might as well just make it a one mate, though, really. There's nothing else can fuel safe as, as well, I don't think. track like this. Yeah, there are other cars that would do well on something like Monza. Alright then, on to the final lap. So he's probably going to look to try and get past here. All around the outside, it's pretty impressive, but I'm pretty weak on the brakes, so... I guess it's not that impressive. <laughs> Still a nice move though. So I'm guessing he's got enough to run pretty hot to the end, but so have we. Well, I just went a bit too deep into here. a lot of ground and that was pretty much it. The pressure from Snake behind now. But I'll be able to fend it off. I just wanted a really good exit from that corner.
Oh well, never mind. I think that's two uh, two seconds, isn't it? Well, two very good races anyway. You don't have to win them all to have a good to have a good race. I really enjoyed those two races. Um, so yeah, that'll do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed them too, uh, and I'll probably see you all again very soon. All right, thanks again, guys. Bye.